Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How many files do you have on your computer, Fort? How, how many files do, do you have on your computer? Probably too many. And sometimes you may have duplicate files on the same system. And to discover those duplicate files can be somewhat of a challenge if you don't have the right tool. Duplicate files can certainly exist no matter if you're running Windows, Mac OS X, Linux. So I've got a couple of pieces of software, one for Windows, another one for Mac OS X. I'm not gonna go into Linux in this particular video to help you discover duplicate files and then get rid of the ones that you don't want or don't need to be in that particular location. But then there's another tool I wanna show you or a type of tool that will allow you to compare uh, files one against another to see the differences between the tool, a difference tool. One, again, for Windows, another one for Mac OS X. Let's go into the Windows tools first. They're two different tools from two different websites. Uh, the first one is WinMerge. It can be found at winmerge.org. It is open source. It'll help you compare files, folders. Uh, and you would do this because you wanted to see the difference between one revision of a document or another, or to see how one stacked up against another one. And instead of eyeballing it, forget it. You might as well use this tool. Again, open source, win, W-I-N, merge, dot O-R-G. Uh, that is only for Windows. Then, if you want to detect duplicate files on your system, you may be interested in this donationware program available for Windows, clonespy.com, C-L-O-N-E-S-P-Y.com. Uh, it's donationware, so it is free, but you know you can send uh, him some money uh, if you like the program and what it can do for you. And that is scan your hard drive for duplicate files and allow you to get rid of the ones that you don't need. This was much more of an issue way back. I mean, like way back when our hard drives were this big. I mean, like seriously, well, they're still that big, but I mean, like my first hard drive ever was 420 megabytes. Okay. You could put more on a CD than you could on my first hard drive. How big was your first hard drive? And don't even sit there and say, it was a terabyte. <sighs> Some, someday you're going to look back on this and you're, you're going to laugh at the, the, the sizes of hard drives that, you know, we used to carry with us or, you know, use in our computers if we're even using hard drives at that point. So there are the two tools for Windows. Both of them free or certainly low cost or open source. Now, as far as Mac OS X is concerned, there is one company that I found at Macworld uh, a couple of months ago when I was speaking there, Araxis, and that's A-R-A-X-I-S dot com. They've got three utilities, but two of them are, are germane to this particular video. There's Araxis Merge and Araxis Find Duplicate Files, and they pretty much do the same thing only well in my opinion a little better uh but, but of course this is you know full-on shareware so you can try it for seven days if you like it on mac os 10 and then register if you you know want to have a copy for yourself so these two utilities will pretty much do uh the same thing as you would find in the windows counterparts a little differently of course because we're talking about a different operating system different user experience certainly uh find duplicate files uh i've got running right here uh, it's nice to be able to select items and their duplicates. You've got a, a, the ability to zoom. You've got the ability to uh, create different searches. Uh, and then, of course, you can configure it you know, to your liking. Uh, you can search for all files, specific types of files. You can choose what you do when you delete the files. So if you can either delete them or copy them into a folder, which is nice, kind of like a backup or before you delete it. And then the Araxis merge allows you to essentially go in and compare files, not just text files. No, no, no but images as well, which is extremely nice. Instead of just eyeballing it, you wanna have a utility to, to help you manage the differences between one file or another. So there you go. Solutions for Mac OS X, available right now at araxis.com. In fact, they've got a special half price deal if you get all their software, which is pretty cool. I mean, these utilities are certainly good to have no matter the operating system. But again, the Windows utilities, the equivalents, uh, winmerge.org and clonespy.com. Uh, so if anybody out there has any kind of utility, application, program, etc., recommendation to make, no matter the operating system, if you can, you know, give me an equivalent on either Mac OS X or Windows, I would love to feature it, uh, whether it's free or shareware. If it's good to go, you know I'm good to go. 
Email address is chris at perillo.com. Drop me a line. Then, of course, you're also welcome to stop by our community of geeks where you know they're going to be making software and hardware and recommendations all the time. I mean, there's a constant flow of activity on geeks.perillo.com. If you don't believe me, go ahead and stop by and look at the front page. Seriously, like it's updated every minute. Someone posts something new. They embed a YouTube video, upload a screenshot, you know, a review, a blog post, a forum post. There's a lot of things you can do, including have your own profile over there. And there's a lot of things you can do in our chat room, although you're kind of limited to a little uh, field where you enter in text, because that's what you do in chat, at least in our chat room, which is IRC, so you can use your favorite client, or you can stop by the website that we set up for you. Uh, and if you're lucky enough, when chat is unmoderated, you can actually be a part of the video experience. Unfortunately, Fort uh, decided to uh, moderate chat because people were complaining too loudly. And it's okay to complain. It is. It's just when everybody does it at the same time, it kind of floods every you know useful bit of text out. So if you've got a few questions, you want a few answers, you want to share your answers, share your perspectives, you're interested in technology, well, so, there, so, so are we. And, and we're waiting for you right now because the chat room's open 24 hours a day. Seven days a week, typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.